Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions on Bound Channel where I get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having your class again today. How have you been? On today's tutorial, we are going to show you how to extract the coordinates of um, multiple vertices that you have in your data set, right? But so we have a set of we have a polygon layer, right? And then we have different polygons in it, right? So what we have done is that we have opened the attribute table. And then from the attribute table, we have the station and then the area. That is the extent each of those polygons covers. Now we want to also extract automatically the coordinates of what each of those um, vertices. So let's say as we have this particular polygon now, we have determined the area. We also want to know the coordinates of these four points. Similarly, if we have another one here, we also want to know the coordinates of these four. And then yeah, we have about one, two, three, four, five, six, about eight of them. So we also want to know what the coordinates of what these vertices, right? Good. So how do we achieve that? Let's come to the um, attribute table which we have opened. And then let's um, assess our open um, field calculator. And then we are going to create um, a new field. And then we'll call this um, coordinate, right? Okay, so let me have it as chords there. Now for the output field type, you know, um, we could have left it as um, maybe integer or maybe decimal number. But, you know, that will only um, output just a single number, right? Good. So let's um, leave it as a text string. Now the text string that um, we are going to have would help us um, display as many um, vertices as we have of our of our geometry right good yeah of our geometry so for the output field length because we have more than one or we are expecting more than one let's say the length should be about 500 so we're having about maybe 500 you know the total length of the field so if we leave it around um, 500 we would believe that um, it should contain any number of um, output right now we want to write the expression the expression will now be geometry to wkt right with that um, geometry to well-known text so we want to extract the geometry we have here to what to well-known text so what's the argument we have the geometry which is a um, dollar sign geometry and then we have precision now when the coordinates have been displayed if it were just um, a single coordinate that will be outputted, we should have used either decimal here and then um, define the precision to be three decimal places. However, we are expecting more than we are expecting more than one coordinate, but we still want our precision to be in three decimal places. So yours can be four or maybe five or whatever the case is, but I think three is always okay. So we um, indicate the precision to be 3 and then we can close the expression so you can see that the expression is valid and then from the preview we have seen what what type of um, geometry we have and then we have also seen what the coordinates right good so this expression helps you to convert your geometry the vertices you have in your geometry to well-known text which um, enables you it to be displayed and then enables you to copy or maybe export to any other um, extension that will help you attach it to your report or for further presentation. So, okay, you are editing information because we did not start the toggle editing. So, you can decide to start the toggle editing before ever you create the new field. Or even if you don't start the toggle editing and you create it, um, QGIS will help you start it and then populate it with what whatever your output is so we have the coordinates to be here so for a we have about this is the eastern and the northern right good so there's a space that separates what your eastern and your northern that's for the first vertice there's another um, then you now have a comma the comma separates what the coordinates of different vertices right good then you have a space to separate your eastern and your northern so Eastern space nothing comma Eastern space nothing comma so as it has been presented like this you can decide to copy that highlight control a and then copy right good okay let's save 
and then stop the toggle editing right good so so since we have copied it we have accessed our um, excel microsoft excel so we can decide to just paste it there and then you know we don't need some of the fields so especially this um, first one we don't need it we can just delete it and then we have our stations we have our areas and then we have our coordinates right good so we can now decide to extract the coordinates that we have here you know edit or maybe modify it to suit how we want it to be but the most important part of it is that it has been what it has been generated right good and then we can proceed to using it for our for the tax we have at hand so thanks for coming to class we hope we have um, provided solution exhaustively to how you can generate the coordinates of vertices that you have in your um, polygon layer right good and then you know possibly move it to excel now okay we are trying to talk about two methods either you just copy directly from here or you export export save feature as and then you select what um csv right good and then when you export it you would still what see that coordinate field that was um, created and then populated with all the coordinates so thanks for coming to class we hope to see you on the next tutorial ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye